This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski with the latest from Denver 7. Jury selection begins Friday in the case involving Adam Densmore. The 32-year-old is charged in the gruesome killing of his ex-girlfriend, Ashley Mead. Mead's body was dismembered and scattered across several states. Densmore is facing first-degree murder charges. Jury selections are expected to continue through Tuesday, and we could hear opening arguments next Wednesday. A Fort Collins police officer is under investigation for use of force after arresting a woman who is accused of shoplifting. This happened back on March 29th. The officer was on his way home when he heard a call about the theft at a Target on Troutman Parkway. He tried to take the woman into custody for several minutes. She refused. That's when the officer used what they call less lethal force to finally arrest the woman. But because the officer wasn't on the clock, there's no body camera footage. The department says it decided to launch a use of force investigation after reviewing store surveillance. And that officer is now on administrative leave. And after a weather delay, the Rockies home opener is finally underway. We're giving you a look at what's new at Coors Field. There's a gigantic new scoreboard and new food options like the Rocky Mountain Oyster Po' Boy Sandwich. The netting behind the home plate has also been replaced to help keep fans safe. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. We're under a First Alert Action Day as a cold front continues to move across our state. If you're heading downtown to get in on the opening day fun, you should bundle up. The light snow is going to continue in the metro with up to 12 inches of snow for the mountains. But the weekend is looking pretty nice. Skies will clear and we'll be in the 50s on Saturday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jennifer Kowaleski.